Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Ukrainians fleeing to Australia take steps towards a new life, but their hearts remain at home in a Melbourne dance studio. Hanna Lazarieva is busy putting her young students through their paces. Odin, Dva, try. She yells, keeping the kids in time. As a professional dancer, Ms. Lazarieva is used to landing on her feet. But four months on from the Russian invasion, Ms. Lazarieva is thankful to again be in the studio, albeit on the other side of the world. I was very surprised that there is a Ukrainian dance group in Australia. I could not have guessed that there could be such a thing here, Ms. Lazarieva says. Ms. Lazarieva and her son are starting their new life in Melbourne, after fleeing the city of Kharkiv. On February 24, people in the city thought the loud bangs in the night were fireworks. Soon they realized it was gunfire and the beginnings of a Russian invasion. Speaking in Ukrainian, Ms. Lazarieva said her parents and husband remained in their homeland, under constant threat. That is probably why it is so hard for me to accept Australia right now, she says. I am very grateful to Australia, I am very grateful to everyone who has helped me here, to every Ukrainian who helps. But my soul is still there, at home in Ukraine. When I call home, they ask me if I have seen kangaroos and koalas yet. I say not yet, but they re all their thinking they re all over the place jumping and hanging from the trees. The dance teacher and her son are among the 8,000 odd Ukrainians who have been granted temporary humanitarian visas to Australia. The Department of Home Affairs said more than 3,200 had arrived in the country by the end of May. The visas allow a three-year stay and permit holders to work, study and access Medicare. The biggest challenge is when you talk to people in another language. Everything else I can tea say is very difficult. Melbourne has very nice people who help you with everything, Ms. Lazarieva says. Ms. Lazarieva points to her new employer, the Lhenda School, as an example of that kindness. The dance school is artistic director, Melanie Marevsky Deknish, hired her on the spot during their first meeting. She is incredible, it has been so fantastic to welcome her into our school, Ms. Marevsky Deknish says. The school has taken on other Ukrainian refugees as students, free of charge. It is a small gesture that provides a connection to their homeland at a time of great uncertainty. When the war started, it was difficult even for us to dance, it felt really weird to come to the studio. Just to express the culture felt, at the beginning, so difficult, Ms. Marevsky Deknish says. The Lhenda Ukrainian Dance Company, linked to the school, will showcase its work to the public in September with a show at the National Theatre. One of their pieces is called Kiv, and tells the stories of the city as historical wars. It seems really important to perform that again now, Ms. Marevsky Deknish says. It has constantly been a fight for our freedom.